Hey YouTube, it's your girl Maj, and I'm back again with another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to tell you my version of the hardest things about being a mom. And this is a newborn edition. Um, before we even get started, this is my version. This is not me. I do not love my son. This is not me and I don't like being a mom. But this is like the real, raw, unedited version. Um, my story, should I say, of the hardest things about being a mom. And it's it's the truth. Not everybody talks about the truth, so why not do it? I'm going to do it. So I don't need nobody coming at me like, what? Did it? No, this is my story, okay? It's my story. Right, man? I do have Avery with me. He's sitting in his swing right now. So honestly, I'm not going to bother him until he wants me to pick him up. But if you want to see him. Yeah. You want to see him? He's looking out the window right now. That's his favorite thing to do. So I wrote some of the things in my phone. I mean, I wrote some of the stuff down in, in the phone. So I'm just going to look at get it off of this. Um, so let's see the hardest part. Okay. The simplest things are not so simple anymore At all nothing is simple the simplest things are not simple anymore When it comes to a newborn and what I mean by that like for example yesterday I wanted to wash clothes wash all our stuff and I had to get cash back, right? And part of me, I was trying to leave my son here with my sister. She was here. And I was trying to leave him here while he was asleep. But it's like as soon as I was about to leave, it's like he woke up. And he was fighting his sleep. Yeah. He wanted to be in the video, y'all. So he gonna be in there. Yeah. Yeah. He's so cute. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to get back to what I was saying, y'all. I might as well get a thumbnail right now. But, um, let's see. Yeah, I was saying, basically, I was saying the simplest things aren't so simple. So when I was trying to wash clothes, I had to bring his car seat, put him in the car seat, put a onesie on him. Because I always, it's hot. It's summertime. It's hot. So I, I always have him in his diaper. So that means I got to put a whole onesie on him. Then I got to put him in the car seat. Then I got to put the car seat in the car with the base. That's just a lot. Just to get cash back. So, it's just like the simplest things aren't so simple. And then other things such as, like, if I, I just want to run up the street or cook something real quick, it's never, it's not that easy. I have to make sure he's good before I do anything, which is not a problem, but it can be really difficult. It can be really difficult sometimes. So, yeah. And, um, what else? Uh... Let me see what else I say. Oh, their main form of communication is crying. It's crying. Right? And this boy can holler. Okay, y'all? This boy got a cry on him. His cries is real. His cries is serious. Okay, when he's upset, my boy is upset. He will go... It goes 0 to 100. So, sometimes that can be really difficult you know, like, the other day I had a headache, and he's crying. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. My head hurt, and he want to cry right now? Oh, Jesus, help me. But he's, he, if it's just his way of communication. So, when he is crying, yeah, what you got to say? Yeah? So, it's not horrible. It's not like he doesn't scream all the time, but it can be difficult. Um... And then he got his shots last week. Yo, listen, my boy got three shots. And I was supposed to record it, and that did not go as planned. But he got his shots, and he was not the same actor. It took him basically four days to get back to himself. He was screaming. He didn't want to go to nobody but me. He was super, super clingy. Oh, my goodness. My baby was just not right. He just kept whining and crying and crying. And I gave him Tylenol, of course, and stuff like that. And he was sleeping longer and more. But it was, it was just, you was slobbing all on oh, mommy. <laughs> but it was hard, y'all. Like, that's, it's hard sometimes when they just cry and cry and cry. 
And babies are meant to cry. And I, the crying doesn't bother me to the point where I feel like I'm about to break down. But it can just be, it's just moments. It's just sometimes it's hard. What, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? You can't stand. Ugh. Hold on. Sit. You, okay. Are you comfortable like this? Are you comfortable? Okay. Mommy got patience. Yeah. He loves looking out the window, and that's what he's doing right now. Um, what's another thing? Oh, it's hard on your body. Like, it's just because, like, sleep, well, you okay? Being sleep deprived is so real. Just because your body used to it, it doesn't mean that it's okay and that it's healthy. Because I need to, like, now my main focus is making sure I get more rest, making sure I get more sleep. Because I be getting headaches and all of that, and it's just it's it's really hard on my body. And then sometimes, um, like as far as recovering and taking care of yourself, that can be a little hard with the newborn because they can't do anything. On they can barely hold their own head up. Now this one is a little different. He think he grown like right now. Why why you why you trying to look up? He think he man stop. Look right here. It could be hard. Like, uh, headaches suck. And I, that's the only thing I really get. Like, as far as recovering, I recovered and stuff. But, oh, man. That sleep, de 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 being sleep deprived is so difficult. And the hardest time for me that I have, because he still feeds every, like, I'll say every three hours. He don't get up every two hours anymore, but at two months. But that 3, 4 a.m., it's crucial. Okay, y'all. I mean, that's that good tranquilized sleep. But as soon as he start making his little noise, like, hello, mommy, feed me. That could be so difficult. Oh, man, that could be so hard. Right? But I got to make sure my baby eat. I got to make sure my baby eat. Yes. And then when you're tired and they're not tired, that's another thing. He He's, he's up longer. He stays up longer. He um, fights his sleep a little more. So when I'm tired and he's not, it's or he's being difficult, that's hard too. Right? And then it's like, you know ways, like the easiest ways I can put him to sleep is maybe holding him or feeding him immediately. But sometimes I don't want to have to hold him all the time just for him to go to sleep. I, I, I still want him to learn how to go to sleep on his own. Because I don't want him to have to eat. What is you doing? I don't want him to have to feel like he got to eat in order to go to sleep. Or he needs somebody to hold him all the time. What? What? What you about to do? Don't whine. Don't whine. You're okay. What? 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 Look at the camera. You see yourself? You see yourself? Yeah. You love that window. That's what he's looking out of. What, man? What? Okay, okay, okay. Here, see right here. No, oh, oh, oh. You sliding. Uh, okay. What? And then trying to record a video, too. What, man? Mm. Okay, you good now. <laughs> okay, so you don't always have help 25-8, 24-7. It's, I get a lot of help. I'm not saying I don't get help. I'm not saying I don't have support. But you don't always have help. Meaning it's just me. It's just me sometimes. Like during the week, it's just me and him all day. Right? So... I don't get a full-time break, okay? <laughs> I don't get the uh, the lunch break during a double shift. That's what it feels like sometimes. I don't get a lunch break during a double shift. And I'm, and that goes into also taking care of yourself, making sure you eat. And if you do eat, make sure you eat enough. Make sure you eat more than once throughout the day. I have to, like, really be on myself sometimes, get on myself because... Sometimes tending to him, I won't eat, or I'll take longer to eat, and then next thing you know, it'd be two, three hours later, and it's just like that's just so unhealthy. But it can be really difficult to try to eat, try to take a shower, try to use the bathroom, 
Like if if I use the bathroom, he has to come with me. He has to he go has he has to sit in his swing, and he has to sit with me just to use the bathroom because I can't just leave him on the bed by himself. And this boy moves very well for a two month old, so I don't want him to accidentally roll off the bed or anything like that. It's like I'd rather just bring him in there. And then even in the shower, I only take about 10 to 15 minute showers before he starts screaming because he will scream. <laughs> now some days he's really good, but it just just hard. It's just hard. I don't always have help. And then like the same, I love it at the same time because compared to most newborns, my son is he does very well. He's okay. You know, he's pretty calm for the most part. As long as he's eating, like right now, as long as he's eating, he's good. As long as he gets his rest, he's good. He'll sit in front of the TV and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's not easy, y'all. So, basically, the main points I was saying, and if this video is all over the place, I'm sorry, y'all, because it's hard. Why is he? Is... Y'all can't see his arm, but he keeps smacking me. <laughs> Why are you smacking on me? So, yeah, it's just like recovering, taking care of yourself could be really difficult. You don't always have help 25-8 you, or 24-7 if you want to say. But I say 25-8 because whew, time be flying. It's hard on your body. And the main communication is crying. And the simplest things aren't so simple. So, yeah, being a mom to a newborn can be really difficult sometimes. But I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it for the world. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna, I'm right now. I'm gonna take advantage of him eating because he's gonna go back to sleep real soon, and I'm gonna sleep with him. I'm gonna make sure I get some rest. Uh, like I always say, comment down below and let me know what y'all wanna see next, or just like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my social media. I'll have it in the description box down below. And me and Avery. No, Avery and I will see you guys in another video. Okay, deuces. Bye, y'all.